Hello and welcome to my Friday. I'm off to pont a -Prise. I'm here already. I've got the train in to pont a -Prise. And do you know what? I haven't actually been here since before the pandemic. So I'm wondering what's changed and instantly I can see what's changed. A building is missing. Look, right opposite. There was a huge building there. It's, it's gone. It just looks so empty. Anyway, look, let's take a stroll down the high street and just see how it is these days. Seems so much lighter without that building there. What's going on? Oh, we can have a peek through, look. Not a lot at the moment. Just been completely cleared. I'm sure that used to be cash generators, but uh, looks like a similar sort of thing, doesn't it? Still got Superdrug, Poundland, The Works, Barclays, B&M, Costa, Boots, still there? What's going on with those old buildings up there? I wonder if anybody lives in there. Can't tell. I noticed they've got the Christmas lights up and ready. I don't remember if there was so much outdoor seating area before the pandemic. Oh, look at this bakery here. There are some massive custard slices over there. Should we have a look up there? Oh wow, look at those old sewing machines there. Good heavens. Ah, Le Crazy Croissant is still there. Haven't been there for a few years. I've done a bit of um, a loop here, so there's Poundland again. I think the market's around here somewhere. Shall we see if we can have a little walk around the market? Here we go, yes, Let's see if I get lynched for filming. <laughs> Second hand books there, look, loads of them. Picture framing service, I didn't know that was here. Nuts about nets. <laughs> Quite a lot of fruit and veg stalls, as you see, and I've seen some butchers. Oh, there's an art supplies place here. I'm coming out through the other end now. I'm actually using a new bit of kit today, which is my gimbal. It's really heavy and awkward, so I'm not used to using it yet. Um, so if I haven't been as chatty as usual, that's why. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, uh, too many things turned on at once. Here, have a look at this now. This is rather lovely, isn't it? Hebzil, Hebzim, I think that means without God, there is nothing. I'm gonna walk on up the street now. I might pop in Holland and Barrett later on my way back down. What I'm thinking is we'll pop up the end, might see if the museum's open and have a quick look in there. Don't know if it is. In the pandemic, who knows? But there's a little tiny museum just at the top. And after that, I was thinking we could have a stroll through Park Anis Angharad. Have a look at the Lido if we can. Open air swimming pool, it's beautiful it is. It's actually heated. Yeah, it's lovely. Standing almost at the top here, now there's a big Iceland, I notice. And here, look, there's an enormous building sprung up since I was last here, which is the Transport for Wales building, Trav Nithiaith Cymru. Even they've got a little cafe with outdoor seating, look. And that's quite a good one, actually, because, hang on, going up. <laughs> there's a roof over the top of it. And what's this one now, another one? Another building I haven't seen before. It's transformed. Cool. Oh, there's a bridge. Right, we have to look at the bridge. I didn't even know that was there. I think that must be new. Good gracious. Turn your back on Ponty for 18 months and all this stuff springs up. 
Oh, look, more outdoor seating. Oh, it's lovely. So it's a bridge going into the park. There's the really old bridge there. I'll take you over that shortly. It's really, really old, like historically old. There are two there in front of you. You might not be able to make out that there's two, but the humpy one is the original one and the other one's the road one. Let's go here, actually. I had no idea they'd developed a riverside walk. This is awesome. I like these. I love walking by the river, you know, and hearing the sound of the water. I find it really soothing. I'm so glad I've come. This is awesome. Let's go and look at that old bridge, shall we? Oh my gosh, another new building. Is that AstroTurf around the edge? Or is it actual real grass? I have to have a closer look. <laughs> the birds like it, so I suspect it's real. It is real. It just looks suspiciously green. It's quite new, look, I think. Hey, these new seats have appeared since I was last here as well. I'm gonna to pop to the crossing and just cross over. Oh, it looks like the museum's shut, actually. I'll show you the outside of the museum. <gasps> it must be a library. It must be, look, there's books in there. I was gonna show you the library as well. They've obviously moved it. It's, hey, it looks really swished, doesn't it? If I was tilting the thing at the right angle so you could see it. Oh, absolutely lovely. Look, it's a great big, uh, it's a great big unicorn there. Absolutely delightful. Oopsie children's section with nobody in it currently which is quite good from a filming point of view right well here is the museum closed let's see what it says Pontypris museum is closed while building recovery work is carried out after flooding Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? There's an old phone box there. Look, it's been repurposed as a defibrillator box. I think that's such a good idea. Honestly, I'm really glad that they're doing that. Now, check out this bridge now. What we need is a plaque, don't we? I wonder if there is one. See how old it is? Maybe there's one on the other side. <laughs> Here's the bridge from the other side, look. I'm gonna pop over the road into Park Anis Angharad now. Oh, he's stopped. Excellent. So there's that new bridge, look, that uh, we were looking at from the other side. We've got a really lovely children's play area here that obviously I haven't seen for a while, so let's see how that's getting on. Now, I spotted another change, because this here used to have a fence around it, and it was a golf course, but that's come down now. We can go up there. I've never been up here, of course, because it wasn't open to the public. Well, it was open to the public, but the ones that were doing golf, you know, I've never been in there. Mm, fancy. <laughs> Treading new ground here. We are approaching the children's area, which is by there. I'll see what I can film. I obviously won't film anybody's children, but if there are any empty bits, I shall capture them on camera for you. What's this? More seating? Is this a cafe? Oh, yeah. I won't film it because there's a lady there with a little child, but there's a little serving hatch there. Little coffee hatch. How lovely. Ah, we got the ability swing here. So this swing is for wheelchairs. That's what this looks like. Right in front of me here now, which I'm not filming because there's children in it. It's a sand pit area, but with play equipment as well. So, including a little digging tool thingy that you can sit on and manipulate with handlebars. Oh, I see a little trampoline area as well. Lots of picnic benches. Lovely little hill thing here for the younger kids with a tunnel to scramble through on a slide. There's that serving hut that I was mentioning earlier is the climbing frame thingy. Look, it's massive. We used to love that. We came here a lot with our kids. Loads and loads of picnic benches. So it's a good outdoor space, isn't it? <laughs> Tunnel to scramble through. It reminds me a bit of Teletubby land with all the green hills, you know. 
something else for the really little kids as well. And this cafe here is associated with the Lido. Excuse the shaky camera. I'm trying to get used to this gimbal. Oh my. Oh look, it's Ponty Railway Station. There we are. <laughs> Bucket swings for the littlies. I've popped upstairs in the visitor's centre and uh, they've had really loud copyright music on and it's just between tracks. So I'm just talking really quickly, but there's the Lido there. Look, uh, I don't think it's in use at the moment because there seem to be quite a lot of leaves in the pool and there are some staff hanging around. So I wonder if they're gonna clean some stuff out. We've got a smaller area here for the little children, but it's actually quite deep in the middle. And also, you know, the thing for lengths and the little splash pad here with a fountain squirting for the very little children. And all around the edge, you see we've got individual cubicles for getting changed and over there are open air showers. It's lovely, I've been here before. There's a lovely interpretation centre here. Here's a picture of it prior to restoration. That's from 2012. Looks completely different, doesn't it? A different shape entirely. Love this picture here. Oh, there's a door. <laughs> Anybody else have a knitted swimming costume like this one? My mum had a knitted one. She said it used to hang down round her knees as she was coming out of the sea in it. I've come out into the corridor now where the music's not quite so loud, but look, there's another picture of how it used to look before the renovations began. I am starting to get really hungry, so I'm gonna find somewhere to eat, but somewhere that hasn't got really loud copyright music playing, <laughs> so I can actually talk to you. Oops. <laughs> I'm out. This is really useful here. Look at that undercover seating. That's pretty good for the pandemic, I think. If you want al fresco meats, we've got toilet block here as well. Here we got the death slide. Look, aerial runway. There's the entrance to the Lido there, look. I'm interested to see if this bridge is open, and I think it is, because I think I've seen people coming over it. That's the older of the bridges that go into the park. If you'd like me to do a proper Ponty Park tour video at any point, do let me know in the comments. I'd be glad to oblige, because I like doing that kind of thing. And uh, hopefully I'll be more used to this gimbal by that point. Oh, this is so lovely. Look at this. It's just so autumnal and beautiful. Do you know, my daughter used to come here for tennis lessons for a while. Over the bridge then. Oh, look at that lovely water. <laughs> Somebody's throwing a ball to the dog. Might just need to swap cameras to do a bit of zooming. <laughs> I'm shaking a little bit. I don't know if you can perceive it on the footage, but as people are walking on the bridge, it's like causing vibrations to come up along the whole bridge. How's that dog getting on? Oh, there he is, look. Playing fetch with the ball. Anyway, I'm gonna head into town and find food. I'm starving. I'll tell you where I fancy trying first, and that's that bakery that we passed earlier that had the massive custard creams. I mean, I'll go for something savory, but that's my first port of call. Oh, look at them. I'm so tempted though. I love custard slices. Pancakes. Oh, look at those. They look delish, don't they? Mm. It's called Prince's apparently. All right, mask on then. Let's go in. Actually, I'm not sure if we're obliged to wear masks if it's an eat-in place, but I'm going to put it on anyway. Thank you. You're welcome. I spy massive pasties. I'm in and I'm ordered. Water's coming. Look what's arrived. It smells really like mature cheddar and pastry -y. Like It's got a really strong smell. It smells good. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Ported a coffee with soy milk and look, I couldn't resist the lure of the custard slice. Oh, it's got a good wobble on it, hasn't it? Lovely little cafe. I've been having a really nice chat with a lady. Oh. She's just left now. Parking ticket's gonna run out. I'm attempting to eat it with a knife and fork, which is something I've never done before. It's not too sweet, actually. I've been sat here ages and it's really thinned out a lot in here since I've been sitting here. Well, that was very pleasant. I've taken this camera off the gimbal now. I need a break from my brain exploding, basically. So, yes, I will practice that more at home, I think. I'm looking for Holland and Barrett. I'm hoping it still exists because I want to get some exotic rice cake type things that's not rice, basically.
It used to be up here, so yes, it is. It's still here. Yippee! <laughs> nice and quiet in here, anyway, isn't it? Rice cakes. I have found them. They're not cheap. One seventy-five for the quinoa ones. Phew. I might try one packet for a treat. Chia and quinoa. Let's give that a go. What's that one? Just rice. I think we'll ignore the rice because I've had them coming out of my ears. Those are two forty-nine, so I think I'll give those a miss. Ooh, Bombay mix. Yes, I love Bombay mix. I'm gonna get a big bag of it. One ninety-nine. I can't remember if I told you how much that cafe cost me. It was £6.60. Anyway, I've just been in Holland and Barrett, got me stuff in my rucksack, and I'm hurrying back to get the next train home. Hello, it's about 20 past 11 at night. I've been sitting here editing. I got in from Pont de super excited to see how the footage came out with the gimbal. I thought at the time I was filming it that I was like so chaotic and out of control with it that it was going to be terrible because I've cut out all the bits where I'm going, oh, what does this button do? Like trying to film down and things going instead. It just seems to be the opposite to whatever you press. It, it, um, yeah, anyway, cut all that out and what's left is actually, I've pleasantly surprised myself. Um, I really noticed the difference where I just like had a brain explosion and took it off the gimbal I could really tell how shaky it was afterwards I think I probably noticed more than normal people because I literally stare at my footage for hours and hours every day editing it so I'm more likely to notice but yeah so I'm feeling positive it was a bit of a challenge uh, but hopefully the more I use it the better I'll get with it um, uh, what else can I tell you oh well I got in so I edited and edited and edited and then Izzy came in so I cooked Izzy's dinner we sat and ate together watched more Star Trek Voyager and then I came back to editing and now it's 20 past 11 at night and I think I'd better end the vlog and if you enjoyed this video do feel free to give me a thumbs up because it really helps this little tiny channel to grow and I really appreciate that if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story here in South Wales do feel free to hit that red subscribe button and the bell next to it for notifications and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!